Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another new episode of Zaku News here on the USA Gundam TV channel. Today is May 18th. We're already halfway through May. It's crazy, I know, but we've got some new announcements here to talk about today from Bandai. And today, it's it's all P Bandai stuff, unfortunately. We actually have no new announcements really to talk about this week. Uh, but Bandai is going to have their special event next week. And that is the Hubby Next Phase Week, starting from May 25th, where they're going to have new announcements every day that week. Every day that week is also going to be related to a different franchise, so I think Gundam is on Friday, so if you're on the last day of that week, there'll be, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's going to be one major announcement or a bunch of different announcements for Gundam related, but next week there'll be a bunch of new announcements. That means that uh, in the next episode, two weeks from today, we'll have a lot more stuff to talk about, hopefully some new Gunpla, Gunpla stuff related. Uh, and then uh, the, the first day is actually Evangelion Day, so we might have some new Evangelion stuff to talk about in that episode as well. But for today, it's just a few P Bandai kits to talk about, so if you're not into P Bandai stuff, maybe not much of too much interest to you, but I do also want to just take this time to let you guys know that uh, in two days time from today, this coming Wednesday, uh, that'll be Wednesday morning if you're in the US, uh, for me here on this side of the world in Korea, it's a Wednesday night. But I'm going to have, here on the USA Gundam TV channel, an interview time. Not really interview, just spending some time with Adam, the owner of the USA Gundam store. We're going to be spending some time together, taking a look at some new products available on the site, and then just taking some questions from you guys, some Q&A questions. So I'll be posting around on different social medias, uh, places where you guys can post your questions that you want to ask for, particularly Adam. You can ask questions to me, I suppose, too, but uh, it's the best time to probably get in touch, ask your questions to Adam about general operations, about the store, and just kind of whatever you might want to ask about being the owner of an online hobby store. You can ask him, it's your chance to do that. So look forward to that very soon. Again, guys, just make sure you follow on uh, different social media. The USA Gundam Store Facebook page, obviously this channel, and USA Gundam Store Instagram and Twitter accounts as well. You can follow there to make sure you don't miss that. Now let's get into the new stuff to talk about here. First one is Ipi Bandai Masquerade Cast Falls Gundam version 3.0. So this is the Masquerade Gundam version 3.0 in Shars, Cast Falls, red colors. So this existed as uh, in different forms. There's a regular MG, I think there's a 2.0 version, there's the real grade version, uh, and now there's the 3.0 version. So I was actually kind of surprised when I saw this announcement. I thought, really? They haven't made that yet? But apparently they haven't made it yet. They're going to be making it now, finally. And it's going to be coming out in uh, September for 4,500 yen. It looks very, very similar to the real grade. Obviously, the 3.0 and the real grade kit are both modeled kind of the same. Uh, obviously, the construction is going to be a little bit different between them, but uh, the l general look of them is very, very similar. This one is going to come with some uh, markings for that as well, of course, to mark it. So it's not only just color swap, it does have some different markings for it, obviously. So it does look pretty cool. If you don't paint your Gunpla, it's a good way to get a custom Shars colored Gundam if you wanted to have that. And then also another pretty interesting one here is the P Bandai Masquerade Gym 2 Ayug Colors. This one's also coming out in September uh, for 35 hernia. And when I saw this, I also thought, like, didn't they make that already? Because I was sure, I was sure I've seen that before. So I was thinking, I was taking a look back, and I went all the way back to my video, and this was not only covered in my video, but I found this again in my video here. Uh, in the Gumpla Expo 2016 in Japan, they had this kit on display there at the time, but I, as far as I can tell, it hasn't actually been actually released until now. I thought, okay, maybe they released it like around that time, and now they're just reissuing it now, but I don't as far as I can tell, it hasn't been released at all until now, finally this year. So they had it on display there at the time, and it just took them a while to actually get around to releasing the kit, apparently. Maybe they were just saving it for a rainy day when they needed to put out just like a recolor just to kind of bide some time, make up a little money or something when there's a crisis. And obviously there's a little bit of a crisis going on in the world now, so maybe this is the rainy day that they were saving it for. So they're finally coming out with that AU color uh, mash grade Gym 2. So you can check that out if you want. It does look pretty cool. The Gym 2 is a cool design. I think I prefer it over the original Gym design. It's a little bit sleeker, a little bit more cool, uh, a little bit more modernized version of the Gym a little bit. Then next, something also Gym related is the P-Bandai Gundam The Origin uh, Gym Night Seeker. This is from the Origin MSD line, so it's kind of the MSV version uh, for Gundam The Origin. This is coming out in August for 2300 yen. It's a pretty cool, interesting looking version of the gym there. It's got that cool like backpack with like little thruster units on it and that cool face masking and everything. So very interesting version of the, of, uh, the Origin gym. Obviously the Origin kits, the HD Origin kits, all very nice kits. So I have no question that it's going to be a really, really nicely engineered kit, really nicely detailed kit as you can see in the pictures there. So if you're a fan of that design, it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. 
Also, the P Bandai HGC Gundam uh, Crossbone Gundam X1 Full Cloth coming out in August as well, also for 2300 yen. This one basically looks like it's just the same kit that was the Build Divers version of this kit. The Build Divers version uh, was just molded in like a glossy, kind of like gloss injected colors, though. So, this is just like basically the normal version of the Crossbone X1 Full Cloth that's going to be coming out here as a P Bandai kit. And the HGC Crossbone kits are great, and they have loads and loads of accessories, so if you like a kit with a ton of accessories, then this kit is for you, or any other, really, version of the, the Crossbone, but of course the Full Cloth has the addition of also the Full Cloth parts on there as well, so you have even more options and stuff that you can do with this, so uh, that should be a pretty cool kit. And then we move into the Very Strange here, also from Gundam Crossbone, uh, from the Crossbow manga, here is the P Bandai HGC Dictus. This is the Callisto's Light Custom version of that. This is coming out in August as well for 3,600 yen, so a little bit more expensive for an HG kit. That's like the price of a cheap MG uh, or like a RE100 kit for this. But as you can see, it's a pretty interesting design. I'm not sure about the general size of this. I think it might be a little bit larger than the most like Gundam designs from Gundam Crossbone, which are pretty small. So that may also be a reason for the price. But also, as you can see, it's a very odd design. This is probably one of the strangest uh, mobile suit like kit designs we've seen from the Gundam franchise to come out. Uh, and so it transforms into like a hand kind of thing, like the head extends out in a sort of very odd phallic way and becomes like the thumb part of the hand and the hand also has the beam effect parts coming out of it. It's very strange. I'm not really into it. I mean, personally, it's a little bit too much for me. But uh, man, we, when we had the, the RE100 P Bandai Shokyu announced to come out later this year, I thought that's a pretty weird design. But this is taking it to a whole new level. So I mean, wow, that's something very different. And then uh, for a couple other things, last, last couple things here, uh, P Bandai HG Geminus 01 High Mobility and Space Unit Options set here. So we don't have a price or release date set for this yet, so we just don't really have much information to go on. But as far as I can tell, it looks like this is going to be a parts set that you can buy uh, for the P Bandai HG UC or HG AC. Uh, Gundam Geminus from G Unit, so it's basically two different option parts set for this. So basically, you would have to, if you wanted to have both, you would have to have two of the Geminus to both display the high mobility type uh, armor or like uh, expansion kind of uh, equipment parts for that, and then also the space unit equipment parts. Uh, so those equipment parts do look really cool. I actually am not really that big of a fan of the Geminus design myself. It's kind of my least favorite of the different G unit designs, but. With this uh, equipment on it, it does look a lot better. It's a lot more interesting, I think, with this different equipment on it. So it's it's pretty cool looking, especially like the the larger one. I think that would be the uh, space unit. I think is like the the larger one with the kind of big cannons on it. Uh, really super cool that one. Uh, so it's interesting, but right now, like I said, we don't really have much information on that. I don't think that that's going to be sold with the actual Gundam. I think you have to have the Gundam separately, which is kind of disappointing. It's always nice when everything's packaged on one, but I guess if you already have the Gundam and you don't want another one, then it's good. So I guess it could go either way. But if you're like me and you weren't really too interested in the Gundam at first, but maybe now you want to get the set, you'd have to buy them separately. So I don't know. Well, we don't know yet. We'll have to see, but it looks like that's going to be sold separately. And last thing here is also just uh, all we have so far is just the artwork for this is just the P Bandai HG Build Divers Rerise uh, Eldora Windam. So with the Windam coming out and they're doing like they had uh, the Eldora Brute, the Eldora Dotress, and now they're doing also an Eldora Windam version of the Windam. So it's just going to be based on the uh, HG CE Windam kit that's out uh, later this month, I think. That's right, yeah, later this month. Uh, so that'll be out soon, and then they're going to be coming out right away with a variation of that in the P Bandai shop. Well, at least not right away. A few months later, down the line, probably August or September, I guess, probably for this one as well, September, for the Eldora Wind I'm here, so later on this year, going into the fall. But uh, it's uh, also a pretty interesting design. The bug face and the whole thing, uh, It was. Uh, it's a very odd design here for this, so... I was on board for the Eldora Brute, the Eldora Doctress were both pretty cool designs. Uh, this one is a little bit weird, so I guess that's the theme for t today's episode. Uh, some pretty odd releases coming out from Bandai in the P Bandai shop, and unfortunately no news for anything non-P Bandai related for this week, but it seems like probably in the next episode we'll have a lot more to talk about as far as 
uh, new stuff. I know I've been saying that for like the past few episodes. I keep saying like, in the next episode, we'll have a lot more stuff to talk about. But I think it's just with everything going on in the world these days, uh, it's probably affecting Bandai just as much as it's affecting everyone else. So uh, unfortunately, we're not really seeing a whole lot of news coming out from Bandai these days. But I think uh, with their announcement of the next phase, uh, Hobby Week, what is it? Next Hobby Next Phase Week. Uh, next week, hopefully we'll have a lot more stuff to talk about for sure next time in the next episode. So I'll see you guys in two weeks. And again, as always, guys, check the link down below to USA Gundam Store. Shop online with us. Use my coupon code there, Zakurilius10, and, and check out everything there on the site. And I'll see you guys live with Adam on Wednesday. Until then, have a great week, guys. Bye-bye.